Yeah, it was character building anyway, that's for sure. You know, it was tough to do um, you know, 20 minutes without without uh, a man, which, you know, it's tough. And they had a full eight points behind and, and to get ourselves back into that game and end up winning it, you know, that's that's something that I can certainly work with with a club and a team going forward. There's no doubt about that. Do you think those innings were fair enough? Um, oh, look, it's probably not the right time to be talking about it. I'll have a look at it and and um, and assess all that, you know. But at the end of the day, we need to be better with our discipline. There's no doubt about that. You know, the probably the only question I have is when the warning was given in the first half, yet it still flowed over to the second half. Like, where, where does it... You know, where does it stop and where does it start again? You know, that's that's a little consistency of pro- I don't, anything I'm probably unsure about. But end of the day, I, you know, it's I want to focus on the boys' performance more so than than the refereeing or anything like that. To be honest, pretty. You, you said earlier in the week, I think, or maybe Ryan said it was a pretty desperate time, but you needed a win. Is that how you felt? Like it was a really, really crucial victory. For you too? Yeah, I mean, every win's crucial. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to win. There's no doubt about that. And I think the boys, because they've been working so hard in the last, you know, last month or so, and have fallen short. You know, every, you know, with one the way we've played it with some at times, and, and a bit of luck going against us with injuries at times. You know, the, the last two weeks we've played at times. In those last two weeks, we've been down to no reserves at certain times in those games. So, you know, that's that's sort of hurt us at times. But and the boys, you know. They believe in each other. You know, they showed that to be eight points down and still be get themselves back into that game where, in times gone by, that they may have lost that game. Dark boy that changed your goal kicking. Yeah, I don't know. I asked I asked someone that on the field as well, and they didn't give us the explanation. But Ash, you know, put his hand up and didn't. I think he did that with the game as well. Um, coming towards the back end of that game, he sort of just put his hand up and ran us around and showed some great leadership out there. Uh, he just yeah, slowed, slowed it down when he needed to slow it down and sped up when we needed to speed up and put the balls on that ultimately led to tries and us winning the game and him kicking the one point. So, um, yeah, he was probably our best player. Gatto, okay, no, I could probably explain it a little bit better, matey. Um, Michael Gordon got a really bad cork on his kicking knee um, and he just felt like he didn't want to take a kick and then miss it and then say, OK, Ash, now it's over to you. So he just felt... You know, he was he had that cork to his knee. He just felt like he couldn't nail him as well as what he normally does. You know, no doubt if ever Michael Gordon's on there fit and healthy, we want him kicking goals because he can certainly but certainly nail injury, him. Yeah. yeah, but it was a, it was only a, a, a bad cork above his right knee, which was his kicking leg. Garth, must be pretty happy with AJ so far. Pop up and sort of pull that player play the game. Yeah, he's willing, isn't he? You know, there's no doubt about that. He's he's a fairly solid. Uh, ball runner, you know, he's fast, he's, he's a good build, he takes the line on. He, he, I probably sent the message out in the second half to start start running a little bit more than what he, and he showed that and when he did, you know, he certainly troubled the, the Knights defence, there's no doubt about that. So yeah, he's he doesn't lack confidence, which is good, and you want that in a half, but you know, I thought Ash was, was enormous there today, you know, I thought Ash really took control of that football team like I've been asking him to do for a long time. That's a couple of weeks in a row he's backed it up. So that's what I want from Ash is consistency and performances like that. And if he's playing games like that, he's got AJ supporting him, you know, we're going to be a hard team to beat. So you give him an extended run then? Probably out to reckon AJ, the way he's played the last two weeks? Yeah, well, you know, he's, he's ticking some boxes for us. You know, he's doing a really good job. So, you know, that's, that's good. But, you know, Kane's back and he's building some confidence and he can put some pressure on on AJ and that's what you need in a club. You need depth and you need you need some competition amongst your players. And you know, I'm sure that watching AJ out there will only spur spur Kane on to be, to uh, work on his game and, and be better as well. So, but you know, AJ's he's only young. It's only his second NRL game, and and I'm just uh, really happy for him the way he's progressing. There's no doubt about that. Hey, what was conundrum for you at all, Garth? Is it just the men that's playing better, or how do you decide who goes on there? Yeah, obviously, you know, as, as AJ's got his opportunity now. It's up to him to hang on to it and keep performing well. And, you know, it's, I, I don't just give Titans jumpers out. I'm very determined to make sure you've got to earn the right to wear that Titans jumper. And, and AJ's earned the right. He's done his time and he's, he's grabbing it with both hands. And, you know, it's up to him to, uh, for, to, for him to lose his spot. You know, if he keeps performing well and keep Gavin playing well, and, 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 but it's good having someone like Kane, who's, who's a quality player in himself who's uh, back working on his game and doing his extras and you know that that can only be good for the club when you've got players in, in all positions that are, are competing with each other. And Jai Arrow seemed to be inconvenienced a good part of the game or twice it was uh, not seeing to get him off and he played the whole 80 minutes. 
<laughs> I've said it plenty of times, Gatto, this year. I wouldn't swap him for too many other players in the competition. There's no doubt about that. He's he's uh, He plays above his weight. That's probably the, the reason why he comes out of tackles busted. He puts his body on the line. He showed that against Canberra, which is part of the reason why he got himself busted. He, does, he doesn't care how big the player is or how small the player is. He puts his body on the line, and I'm sure Dark will back me up. They're players that you want to play with. There's no doubt about that. Mate, you looked inconvenient. So you looked a lot of pain at different times. I remember Cap running that twice. Him off. What, what was going on? Yeah, he, he just sort of, I don't know what happened, so he's, there must be something wrong with him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, you know. He's just a tough bloke and I, I just love playing with him. He just takes the hard runs and makes the hard tackles. Where's that win rank in your time here, mate? Is it, is it up there? Yeah, no, it's good. We, we definitely needed that to get our season back on track. We've had some great wins as a club, but um, now that we that wasn't, it probably wasn't up there, to tell you the truth. I thought we, um, defended a little bit better last week, so defence we probably weren't on as much this week, and we just need to go back and work on that. But um, with Ash and AJ throwing that sort of attack at them, and you know, just getting that belief back in the team, I think yeah, we can definitely go forward. It's probably not probably not our best performance, but it's it's as far as character and morale go, it's right up there, you know. And that's something that the boys can get. Well, they, they believe in themselves, but they, that can only help them going forward is that sort of performance there today, to be behind it and come back and grind themselves back away with, you know, a lot of those tries, I mean, Dark sort of defensively, a lot of those tries were when we were down, down a man, which, you know, this guy's made some dumb, dumb, dumb decisions at times. And uh, But in saying that, Newcastle are a quality outfit. They've got some strike, there's no doubt about that, you know, right across the park from their halves to their fullback to their edges. You know, they, they challenge you, you know, and... If you need to have 13 players out there to really hold your gloves up and you know there were some dumb decisions in defence at times but that part of that was because we were down men at, at, that, at that point of time. Uh, you described on the field against Colonel Ponger for the first time. Yeah, he's quick and electric. There was one stage where he made me go out and chuck the inside ball and yeah, he just seems to carry, he's, he's a good opponent to come up against. He carries the ball two hands and just can almost beat you with his eyes but then he just beats you with his speed and footwork. So um, we knew what we were coming up against and he's... He's a talented kid, and you know, he's probably got, he's got a massive future in the game. But uh, um, you know, with him playing like that, and with Pierce and that coming back for that, they'll be they'll be a great side. Thanks, guys.